NookieNotes.com presents five fascinating sexual words to astound your friends. We're not talking the basics like coochie or boobies or wanker. We're getting uber sophisticated here with some unusual words that I'm betting your friends won't know, or won't know all of them at least. I'll pronounce the word for you, tell you its roots, define it, and even give you an example of how you could use it in a sentence tonight at dinner. So let's get started. I'll introduce you to some of my favorite Nookie-related terms. Number five, erotolalia. From the Greek eros plus lalia. Eros was the Greek god of love, and lalia was a suffix meaning chatter. Erotolalia is speech and or sounds made during sex. I can hear some truly imaginative erotolalia at night through my flimsy apartment walls. Related, coprolalia, obscene talk, and erotolalia, sexual chatter necessary for arousal. Number four, Mongolian cluster. Group sex consisting of at least four people, especially in a continuously connected or simultaneous manner. I'll take a Mongolian cluster over a peanut cluster any day. Related, menage a trois, threesome, and polyeterophilia requiring multiple partners to orgasm. Number three, pompoir. Pompoir is the Tamil word for pulse, when a woman uses her pelvic and vaginal muscles alone to stimulate a penis to orgasm with massaging, gripping, milking, and rippling motions. This technique can take years to practice and master and is a part of Tantra. I can't do much with this broken leg, but Susie gives great pompoir. Related, keeling, kabaza, milking. Number two, kokigami. From the Japanese koki plus gama. Koki is a multi-purpose no theater cloth sash and gami is paper. Kokigami is the Japanese, of course, tradition of creating puppets from paper to adorn the penis. This may be for silly fun sexual play or it may be serious, enacted from a script. And when he presented me with a kokigami dragon, it was all I could do not to die laughing. Related, tsutsumi, wrapping the penis in ribbon or lace in an intricate pattern for prolonged unwrapping, like a gift. And number one, genophobia. From the Greek genos plus phobos. Genos is birth and phobos is fearing. Irrational fear of sex, especially stemming from trauma, repressive belief systems, or cultural inhibitions. She's still a virgin at 52. I wonder if she's genophobic. Related, phallophobia, fear of penis, and urotophobia, fear of vagina. Now that's what I call oral skills. Did you learn anything? I'm a bit of a word geek, so I have a bunch more words to share with you in other videos. Here's the thing. I just gave you five words to drop into conversation to liven things up, create discussion, and possibly, just possibly, get someone in the mood. If you're looking for other things that might help you spice up your love life, try NookieNotes.com. We offer pre-written erotic stories and invitations that you can customize and send to your lover, sexy e-cards to heat things up, tips, ideas, suggestions, and a growing community. Join us there, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, just take that one step to getting more. We're looking forward to seeing you.